Second time's the charm here. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Freshman League here in Gava Racing. We've literally just been talking for five minutes until I found out that apparently the stream wasn't even working. But uh, we're back now. I am filling in for two cent here, here in the Freshman League. And uh, I am joined by his fellow co-commentator, as uh, you'll probably know who he is, but I'll let him introduce himself. Uh, yeah, hello guys. Uh, you all know me, ex Natty G, yeah, from the GT Sport League as well. Uh, but yeah, I was here last week, here this week, and um, well, it's a great race last week in Bahrain, and uh, the Freshman League doesn't fail to disappoint us. So uh, hopefully, we'll get some great action here tonight at the Chinese Grand Prix. Hopefully, we will. Yeah, and uh, the Academy League here in China was a very, very good race, and uh, there's a lot of action there. So hopefully, yeah, the Freshman will be able to bring us. Some good action like they did last week out in Bahrain, as so both of the sort of the lower league tiers did. And uh, they managed to put on a really good show for all of us here in Gabba Racing. But uh, I'll run you through what's happened after me and Natty were basically waffling on for about five minutes because the stream wasn't even working. But uh, Tonios on pole with a 131.0, followed by Sab of the Mystery in second, a 131.7, 7 tenths behind him. And then it's Wicked in 90 in third with a 131.9, and then there, there is the rest of the grid, as you can see. Uh, a few drivers at the bottom here still need to come out on a lap time, and uh, now if you'd like to tell everyone again about what the uh, what the strategy is going to be, because I believe the uh, the tyre wear, as, we, as we've seen many times before on this track, it isn't very good around here. Uh, yeah, the ideal strategy these drivers are going to want to be on is either the uh, the one stop from the mediums to hards or the hards to the mediums. Uh, that's probably uh, the uh, the quickest stra uh, way around this track. Um, but yeah, the, some of the, a lot of the drivers are actually on the soft, and Ace Sabo has done really well to get himself up to sixth place on the medium tyres. So he's going to have a great uh, advantage uh, later on in this race with tyre wear. But for the drivers starting on the soft, it's going to be a stretch to get them onto the hard tyres. They only do a decent five or six laps those soft tyres and uh, so the two stops probably going to be the ideal strategy for those soft runners uh, so people like Absolute who have qualified on uh, quite high up in the mediums are going to have a great chance in the race yeah definitely we'll have to find out on which strategies they are going to go for as uh, while we've been speaking a few people have been putting in some times uh, at the moment, I believe the only person... Oh, there's a couple of people at the top of the grid on flying laps at the moment. Keep an eye on Sab and the Mister who's just come around starting a lap there. Up at the, the sort of the twisty X S section at the top of the track. Wick to 90 also on a lap here. So is GSY Bates. He's just come through the high speed S's in the middle of the track there. Coming down towards Sector 3's and a little bit of traffic there from the Alfa Romeo. And he's just going to have to slot behind. Willie Sanker also on a flying lap here. And there's a few people I believe are on in laps as Ellison's gone four hundredths quicker. Hampton, I believe, who's on a lap as well. So it's Triple O on a lap here. Be interesting to see where RCA and Absolute Eleven will be able to put themselves into the grid as well when they put in their lap times as well as Alice Gunamak who's in the pits at the moment not on a flying lap keep an eye on Sab of the Mister though that he's gone fastest in the middle sector as he's now coming down this one kilometer straight he'll have DRS around about halfway down as he's going to reach one of the top speeds that these car reach in, in the entire calendar one of the fastest straights on the calendar as he goes down into first. Interesting, usually drivers go down to second for that hairpin. But is this going to come now, now to the final corner? Let's see where he goes. He did go fastest in sector two. Oh, he's only a tenth of Tonios there up top. Yeah, he improved by five tenths. It was a clean lap. Uh, didn't, cut, uh, didn't cut the final corner, catch it clean through there. It's a really easy to uh, really easy corner to either cut on the inside or go wide on exit. And uh, only a tenth behind Tonio. So uh, it looks like it could be a pretty close battle out in front. Yeah, it's going to have to wait and find out and see where everyone else will be able to place themselves. See if they can get up themselves up onto the top spot there. As uh, Jutsi Kev, we know how quick he can be. And uh, say he's battling very, he's battling very well with uh, Natty in the uh, in the weekend league. As he's just gone, also gone fastest in sector two. Keep an eye on him as he's coming round that long right hander there. Very hard to keep the rear end of the car under control. As it'll come down the straight now. Remember that DRS opens halfway down the straight. 
very good place for overtakes here. The, uh, the hairpin at the end of this one kilometer straight is he's going to go down into second. Going to try and get a, his best exit as he can, keeping that rear under control. Round the final corner, let's see where he goes. Will Jutzikev be able to put himself on pole? And he does by a by almost le less than a tenth. He did a 129.990, uh, puts himself on pole. And that's a very good lap there, Nadi, from uh, your weekend league rival. Yeah, really good lap. He's a whole second clearer of uh, Tonio's behind him, both on the soft tyres. And uh, yeah, as time goes on, the track will get quicker as it evolves. Uh, but a good lap from Dutzi. I noticed uh, RCA tools moved up into 11th place on those medium tyres. And um, so some, uh, only a few people now actually on the mediums. Uh, but a lot of the soft runners are going to have to uh, have a little think about what strategy they plan on doing. Obviously safety cars might help them during the race. But it's going to be a, an interesting race I think. Ooh, Absolute 11 was on a lap and he's just bailed out of it now. It, but it wasn't invalid. It doesn't appear to be a quick lap looking at his uh, splits here, but uh, with 3 minutes 30 it seconds have, left it, to go it in the would have session. Still, yeah, it would have still been a banker lap, potentially. Um, unless he's so maybe he's... coming in for a set of mediums. If he knows he can't get the lap in, he might come out, put a set of mediums on. Oh, Alex going to Mac has just gone fastest in Sector 2 on the medium tyre. See, he's flying at the moment on those mediums. Let's see what he can do. As he's now coming down that final... Uh, one kilometer straight there. Anybody else out on a lap at the moment? Looks like GSY Bates is on a lap at the moment. Uh, also, Alex Gunnamack on a lap. I think Woolly Sanker's on an in lap from what it looks like. Uh, Ellison also on a lap here in the racing point. He's 1.7 seconds down though on his time. Let's see. Where he'll be able to put himself. Bates only nine thousandths up though in his time. Let's see where Alex gonna Max gonna go. He came to the line, did a 133.6, so he did the exact same time as he did before that I think. Yeah, I think he had a, one of his previous laps in Valley. I think he moved up to 15th, but uh, and ran out of ERS uh, before the final corner. So uh, I don't know if that was his second lap on the medium tyres, but he used a lot of his ERS on that lap. And it definitely cost him in the final sector. Uh, but we're now seeing a lot of drivers coming out of the pits to uh, set their final laps in the race with only two minutes and ten seconds left to go. Uh, a lot of drive these drivers are going to start setting quick laps. Yeah, a lot of drivers on a flying lap at the moment. Bruzy, one tenth up. Let's see where Ellison is. Uh, coming round on a lap here. Got, about to go down that one kilometre straight. Bates coming towards the end of the straight. Uh, Wick the 90. Six uh, hundreds down at the moment on his time. Oh, he did just go fastest in middle in the middle sector, however. So quite a lot of people seem to be beating that middle sector time. Just my Bates is just invalidated. Uh, I don't. I think Ellison has also just invalidated his time. Let's see where Wick to ninety can do. He's two temps up ninety on his time at the moment. Oh, Tony has just left. You might have to invite him back. Uh, as. Week to 90, he's coming down into that hairpin there. He's going to come up now. He was two tenths up on his time. See if he's lost any time here for the final corner. He's going to come down to the line. Will he be able to improve? Oh, he bruised like seven tenths. Oh, Bruzy just moved up into fifth place there of a 131.7. Good lap time from him and the McLaren. Puts himself in fifth position. Absolute 11, though, you've got to be looking at him. He's the only person that hasn't put in a time at the moment. I believe he will get to the line. Let's see what he is able to do. As it was a yeah, good lap from Bruzy, moving himself up into fifth place. Uh, but a fair few drivers queuing on the straights for, uh, to start their flying lap. There's uh, Bates, who was on a lap, has got him, his, his lap invalid. And uh, with only 20 seconds left to go in the session, I'm not sure if he's going to make it to the, to the line in time. Uh, but there are a few drivers starting their laps here, so we'll uh, have to keep an eye on who moves up and down the field. But a lot of drivers choosing, opting for the soft tyres here. Uh, so anyone who doesn't qualify inside the top 10 will have that free choice of tyre. As a Tituri, I believe that was a manual retirement from him, as you can see his car still moving uh, like through turns 1 and 2. The game was broken because I can't see Tonios now, so... 
Um, can't see his player ID because he left him joined back. But absolute 11 on a lap at the moment. Hampton uh, also on a flying lap here. There's, everyone's on flying laps at the moment. Now Bagu Breath, he's on a lap. He's one tenth up at the moment. Jutsi Kev's just gone on to a lap here. So's RCA, five tenths up on his time. He's gone fastest in the middle sector. Let's see what he's able to do. See, that is, looks like it's going to be a very, very good time from him. As Jutsi Kev also just coming out on a lap. Isn't, be able, isn't able to improve at the moment through that sector split through sector two. Let's see if he's able to improve overall in that sector. No, he's a tenth down on his own time at the moment. The leader can't improve at the moment. So there's a few drivers coming across the line who uh, a few drivers are tiring who are not able to put in faster times. Let's see where RCA goes. Now he's a second up on his time. Where will he be able to go as he gets to the line? Oh, he goes second with a 130.6 for RCA. Let's see where anyone else is able to go. Hampton to the line goes 1.1 second. Absolute 11 goes second with a 130.2. And, yeah, and that clean, is it. That is it, I believe. And, uh, yeah, that is everyone. Here is the uh, the starting grid then, I guess. Just a few drivers in the pits, but uh, the obviously they won't be able to get out. Bear with me two seconds. Could you invite me back? Sure. Sorry uh, about in this, the meantime, guys. Blame <laughs> Codemasters. <laughs> so, uh, Jutsi. Is your man on pole position, followed by Absolute in second, RCA in third, Tonio's in fourth, Sabo the Mister in fifth, Wixer in sixth, Ace to Sabo in seventh, Bruzy in eighth, Bates, Bates, uh, GSY Bates in ninth, Infamella in ten. Those are your top ten, all on the softs, and uh, in eleventh, Edison Centuri in twelfth, fifteenth, Alex in a Mac in sixteenth, Dazza in seventeenth, Trimbolo in eighteenth, Hampton in nineteenth, and Robert Codfather. Rounds up the grid. Thank you for that. <laughs> it was really helpful, actually, because uh, everyone couldn't see all the driver names. But, uh, yeah, that is the grid here for the Freshman League. Uh, Dutchie, I don't think it's not the issue. I think it's because when people leave and join back, um, their player IDs disappear. Um, that's, that's the issue in the game at the moment. Um, but... Uh, just leave and join back. There we go. Now I can see Tony Oz there. As uh, it's just a little uh, bug at the game at the moment. But, uh, yeah, we we'll hopefully should be able to get underway very, very soon. As uh, if you haven't already, go subscribe over to the Gavin Racing YouTube channel. We're on 992 subs. Eight more subscribers. So. If you know anyone who's interested in racing, if you know anyone that likes watching racing, if you know anyone that has a YouTube, just go and tell them. Go and tell them. Just grab them over and say, go subscribe to Gabba Racing. And, uh, yeah, it'd be highly appreciated. If you haven't already, if you've got a Twitch Prime sub, go and sub subscribe over on our Twitch channel as well, which you are streaming on right now. You can also follow the Twitch channel as well. So, you know, when we go live, as well as joining the Discord server, where all the information and uh, all of the chat is over there. And obviously, you've got the website as well, where all the information and all the driver signups are over there as well. And, uh, yeah, we've got to get ready for this freshman league race here in China. And uh, it's going to be a good one, that because there's going to be a big mix-up in strategy between all the drivers, it looks like. Yeah, and uh, definitely, and I think judging by the amount of soft runners we had, I don't think there's a chance of rain in the race. Uh, so it appears to be dry for now, uh, a little bit of light cloud. So a, a rain would really spice up this race. Obviously, we had rain in the Freshman League last year, and uh, rain in China, never count it out. And, uh, well, I hope it's a really good race today, and uh, let's see how strategy changes things. Let's see how the strategy does play out. As it looks a little bit overcast. I don't know if there's a forecast of rain. It would spice up the race a little bit if we did have a bit of rain here in the Freshman League. I don't think it was in the, up in the commentary box that he would say no to a little bit of rain halfway through the race. Wouldn't, wouldn't mind a bit of rain, no. Definitely, uh, definitely change things a bit. I'll have to find out and see. Whether the rain comes or whether it holds off, it doesn't look too bad actually. But the drivers will come round for their formation lap. And, uh, you yeah, know, we'll have to see how the race goes as Jutsi Kev will lead us out 
and it's followed by Absolute Eleven. And these two Red Bull guys here, now you're looking very, very dominant at the moment. Yeah, definitely. They, I think, believe they got a one-two last time out in uh, Bahrain. So uh, it's going to be uh, interesting to see what they can do. Both starting at the front of the grid. Obviously, Jutsi have uh, retired from the end of qualifying last week and was unable to set a decent lap in. Uh, but having a quick look at the tire choices, the top ten starting on the soft because that's what they started the rate. Uh, well, that's what they've done their qualifying laps on. Uh, and it's kind of Mac opting for the hard tires, so he's going to go longer into the race than. Uh, all the other guys and uh, there is the predicted pit stop strategy on my screen uh, lap six to seven for the soft runners to the hard tires so they might be able to stretch out uh, the one stop easier on this year's game than last year's game or the two stop from the soft to the medium to the medium yeah we'll have to see when it's going interesting though for manix going to max starting on the hard he will be initially slower off the line but uh, as he said we'll be able to go longer into this race and uh, we'll have to find out, but obviously the top 10 who did start, who did qualify, sorry, on that soft tyre will have to race on that soft tyre. So they will be forced into a two-stop strategy. And let's find out. And there is a strategy just popped up on my screen for the two-stop soft medium to medium or a soft to hard. Or if you're on the medium, it will be a medium to hard strategy or a hard to medium uh, yeah, so a little bit of uh, information about this track real quick. It's a 5.4 kilometre track and there are 16 corners. Obviously, we have the one kilometre back straight, which is going to be great for overtaking. Obviously, DRS is, will be enabled after lap three, uh, halfway down the straight. And uh, it should hopefully make a, for a really interesting race. Hopefully, it will as uh, all the drivers now will come round and line up on the grid. Let's see who will be able to bring home the pole position this week. It was absolute 11 last week. Let's see if he can get the jump on his teammate here. Into turn one, we've seen a lot of drivers go for the dive down the inside as the, the driver on the outside uh, is forced wide because of the nature of how turn one is. But uh, remember, turns two and uh, turn uh, turn three, sorry, is a uh, left-hander, so it forces the drivers on the outside to get, get forced to the inside as the lights count down here in the Freshman League in China. And it's light sound, and away they go, and it's Jutsi Kev not uh, off to a very good start here. As uh, he's being fought, pressured by his teammate. Oh, someone's run wide there. It's Easter Sabo, very wide. And there's a Ferrari as well. I think it was Sabo the Mister. As there's contact between someone at the back. Oh, there's contact between the Williams. And it was the Renault, maybe? I believe so. As uh, there's contact all over the place. There's Dazza losing the back of the car there. Sabo, really bad start from him. He ran really, really wide off the beginning. Easter Sabo. Getting the move done. He was oh, RC8 looking for a move on the absolute 11 up front, maybe. Oh, someone spun round at the back. It's GSY Bates round at the back and we as have well. A safety car. Full safety car. There was a there was a really big crash, believe really, between uh, I think it was Dazza and Hampton. One of the two were really late on the brakes and hit Willy Sanka uh, along with it uh, down into turn four or five. I think that is almost a. Daniel Ricciardo and Bottas style move, uh, attempt, so I'm going to have to say unfortunately there was quite a bit of contact and I believe it was uh, Willy Sanko also clipping the Williams through turn one, he had a bit of end plate damage through turn two as well and uh, as you say a really uh, unfortunate start there for Sav the Mister, he's gone down 13 places in this G race. Uh, yeah it is well and GSY Bates. Uh, GSY Bates really bad damage through the front of his wing so he's going to have to come into the pits and as we can see the pit stop strategy will change per individual driver throughout the race and uh, this might open it up a little bit more now that can you can you think of anyone that might pit early potentially to get off of these softs or will they try will they stay on the softs now while they've got the the speed and the sort of the the freshness of those tires well rc8 stayed out but i reckon most of the soft runners will come into the oh they have jutsi kevin absolute yeah, 11 antonio sin yeah, every, yeah, Bruzy and RCA staying out. Anyone coming in, it looks like, oh, there's a, a Red Bull double stack, which didn't work too well. That's really slowed Absolute 11 down because the pit crew just weren't ready for him. He came in a little bit too early, but he was right behind his teammate. So everyone will now go line up behind the back of the safety car as um, there's an issue with my board at the moment. Once again, cheers, Codemasters. 
God's sake. <laughs> Code masters, honestly. But uh, no, it says RC8 is in sixth at the moment, even though he's in first. But everyone will come round, line up behind the back of the safety car. This, the safety car basically giving all the drivers a free pit stop. And uh, we will hopefully get racing again very, very soon. Okay, and got, uh, some drivers uh, picked up a few penalties, actually. I think. There are some collisions under the safety car, something that they are going to have to try and avoid. Antonio uh, is uh, lagged out again. As all the drivers will now go uh, line up behind the safety car once they come in for their pit stop. And a uh, few people opting to stay out on the softs. So they'll be quicker initially after the safety car restart. I don't know why it says these two are up in front still. Uh, we'll have to find out. I don't know why that's still saying that. As a... Oh, there we go. My timer board's back to normal now. Yeah, there we go. As a... No. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I can't see Tonios again. This game fixed your game, Codemasters! <laughs> I was going to say, we've had a few incidents uh, under the safety car. Bruzy, uh, Ace de Sabo, Alex and Mac, Hampton, Dazza, uh, Hampton again, and Dazza again have all got five second time penalties for colliding with other drivers under the safety car. Ooh. And uh, with the new oh, feature, Ele we can actually see... Ellison uh, just got a drive-through penalty for speeding under the safety car. So he's going to have to serve that in the next three laps. Uh, but a few drivers pitted for a new front wing change. Uh, most of them onto the hards, actually. A few have uh, the soft runners have gone onto medium. So maybe they've committed themselves uh, to the two stop definitely. Uh, there's no way uh, you can get mediums the full 27 laps in this race. So um, those guys like Jutsi and Absolute are definitely going to be on the two stop here. Yeah, we'll have to see whether they are. We have how long they'll be able to get those tyres to the end, but it's RC leading at the moment after he hasn't come in for a pit stop yet, opting to stay out on the soft tyres as well as Bruzy and also Infamella. Everyone else came in for a pit stop who was on the soft tyres. Uh, a few people who started on the hards on the mediums have stayed out. They'll be looking for the one stop as... Uh, um, I can imagine they'll be a little bit frustrated that all of these drivers in front have, be, have uh, just got given a free pit stop. Um, but uh, it's the nature of the game here, as they say, and uh, the drivers will just have to do their best to, to fight through the battles and get back up to the top. And uh, Judson Kevin, a good position here. He's got, uh, he's on those fresh mediums behind the two drivers who are on the softs. Let's see whether he's able to get the moves done and win this race. And his teammate, now after his teammate got held up in the pits, has come all the way, all the way down, come out all the way down in 11th place. So at absolute 11, because of that double stack, he had to wait behind his teammate. And uh, that means he's dropped all the way down to 11th now. So the safety car does come in this lap. Yeah, the Red Bull garage, obviously, also being the third garage in the pit lane so he's gonna he had to wait behind his teammate uh, and then when he was finally served he had to wait for everyone else to drive straight through him so it's probably a long uh, painful pit stop for him if I can just quickly check the race director now uh, it was it was initially a 4.1 second pit stop but then he had to hold uh, I'm, I'm assuming for some time if he's all the way down uh, where he is down in 11th place. Yeah, it's really unfortunate for Absolute 11. Now, you can answer this question. The mere man in the chat's asking, can do hards drivers can go to the end of the race? So drivers oh, on the fresh hards stretch, now can go reckon, to the end of the race. If they can conserve their tyres, and maybe with a few, or maybe with a VSC or a few uh, tyre conserving, Ooh. they could go to the end. And as uh, Vincent and Willie Sanker have both picked up time penalties, but yeah. RCA it's gone and oh, just Kev's uh, already going for it. Yeah, he's already going to go for it. He's going to try and look around the outside. Will he be able to get the pass done? He runs very wide as the McLaren cuts right across in front of him. That was a weird camera angle there. It's absolutely 11 getting the move done on Robert Codfather into the first corner as well. Ace to Sabo down the inside of Wick to 90. Oh, and GSY Bates getting the move done on Dazza. Oh, there's contact at the back as Ellison just went back into the back of Dazza. And oh, Wick to 90 getting the move back on Ace to Sabo. Absolute 11 storming up at the moment, getting past Triple O in Formella. 
So Ventura getting past Infamella as Wicked Knight and Robert Codfather are having a battle down at the back. As Infamella all up behind the Renault at the moment. Absolute 11 chasing down these drivers now. That he's really going to be pushing after he dropped all the way down to 11th after that pit stop. Ace Sabo now getting involved with this battle with Wicked Knight and Robert Codfather. It's absolute 11. He might look for the move here. Isn't going to go for it in. There's a battle happening at the back. As Sabo getting the move done. Oh, Bagu breath. He looked for the move down the inside of Robert Confava, got the move done, up into 14th place, absolute 11 now, he's really going to be pushing, is he's going to get the move done, he's going to go round the outside of Alex Gunnamack, he just doesn't have that DRS to give him that extra speed, he's going to go for a late move, into turn 15, is he's got it done in the end, is he forced Alex Gunnamack wide, Alex Gunnamack gave him a enough space actually there it was very good racing between those two in the end absolute 11 up into eighth place and a brilliant start here off of the safety car restart and now absolute 11 here absolutely flying at the moment no pun intended yeah and uh, there's been a great battle at the back that i've been watching hamilton and willy sanka willy sanka's gonna look for it down on the inside in this contact between two and willy sanka sent spinning uh down at oh, one. He's, hit, he's hit both the racing point and he's hit ellison as well that might be a virtual safety car, potentially, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's and there a he is, the virtual safety car. Willy Sanka's left the session. Not sure if that was a disconnect. He, I'm not sure. But, or following uh, the he, incident. He, he, did, he, he must, did he say he made contact with... Uh, who did he make uh, contact with there before he spun around? Uh, go down the inside, and then uh, the door was firmly shut on him, and then... Uh, the contact sent him spinning yeah, and unfortunately he, he collected the other uh, runner and the racing point yeah he did he did collect both of the drivers there ellison and dazza both picking up wing damage i believe if it would give me a good enough camera angle to have a look so let's see if ellison is he yes there, there is damage to dazza's car let's see if there's any damage to ellison's car yes there is as well he's lost both of his end plates so that's dazza and ellison both into the pits and this VSC will end before they're able to do that. And it is still RC8 leading. It's absolute 11 getting past Tunchuri straight, straight away. Before the end. And Tunchuri might look for the move in the inside. Just can't get the pass done there. As uh, DRS not activated yet. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer for that. As uh, Tonio's getting close here to Infamella. Jutsikev though. Now he's getting really close to RC8. Who is still on those five lap old softs as Wicked 90 into the pits. I think he must have picked up some damage there as well. In amongst all of that is his teammate, uh, Tonios. Will he look for the inside here? Can't get the move done. And now he's being attacked. He was just attacking and now he's going to be defending from Absolute 11. He's really pushing at the moment. He wants to get himself back up into those positions. After he lost time in the pit lane, he might look to the outside. Can't get the pass done there. He's gonna, oh, there's a Ferrari just lost the rear. It's in for Mella. And he's going to have to wait now until all of these cars have gone past before he can safely re-enter the track. Yeah, unfortunately for Infamella, obviously spinning at that part of the track. He can't, uh, well, he uh, safely waited for all the drivers to, uh, to go past him before he rejoined the uh, back onto the track. But Jutsi actually attempted the move down the inside of us. Yeah, uh, wasn't able to... Uh, Make the move stick, but RC is going to be uh, starting to struggle and feel the pain of those five lap old hards. Uh, sorry, it's soft as here as uh, Just he's in the slipstream. He's got the DRS, DRS as well. hasn't uh, been enabled. Falls over to the right hand side. Does he send one down the inside? And uh, that's put him up into the lead of the race. I'm sure we see the likes of RC and Brucey who have not stopped yet in this race. I'm sure oh, they'll be pitting soon. 11. Oh, he made contact. Sorry to interrupt you. He made contact with Vincher as he went down the inside of him. Managed to get past Tonios in the end. And he went down the inside of Vincher. Couldn't get the pass done there. He's going to have DRS and he's going to go wheel to wheel into turn one when he get the move done down the inside. And he does comfortably. Vincher won't back down those. He's going to try it down the inside. There into turn two. Absolute 11 though. We'll have the cutback. Into turn three is these two going well to wheel a little bit of contact between the two of them, but in the end, absolute eleven getting the move done. Oh, there's someone off at the back. And it's there's a racing power point it's, round. It's, it's Tunturi. Tun yeah, it's Tunturi. Looks like he's just spun round now. I'm not sure if there was any contact. Didn't quite see. 
but he's, he's managed to damage on his front left. Ooh, he might have been in contact with someone. We didn't manage to see there at the back. Oh, no, he's, he's just hit the Williams of GSY Bates there as he lost control of the car. But uh, Bates not picking up any damage. And uh, it was just a yellow flag there. I don't know what that was for. But Tonios, he's looking to now attack Vinters. Vinters just got overtaken by Absolute Eleven. And Absolute Eleven now all over the back of Bruzy as well, who's struggling a little bit now on these soft side as they are coming towards the end of their life. But it will be Tonios all over the back of Vinja. Absolute 11 all over the back of Bruzy. Absolute 11 got DRS. Will he be able to get the move done down the inside? Can't get the move done there. Tonios easily getting the move done before the hairpin. And uh, nicely done there from Tonios. Triple O getting close to Sabo there on the straight. It's Absolute 11 as it overtakes. Uh, Bruzy there, but Bruzy does come into the pits as well as RCA, both of the drivers who did stay out under the safety car and uh, both going to come in, I believe it will be for a set of hards here, that it's going to look like, uh, yes it is I believe those um, those yellow flags early in sector 3 was for Ellison who came to the pits for the hard tyres I believe that's his second or third pit stop in this race, uh, the, the uh, mechanics changed the front wing so there, there might have been a bit of contact there with someone, but uh, Bruzy and RCA both onto the hards, so they'll be looking to go towards the end of the race on those hard tyres. I have to say, what a what a brilliant driving though from Absolute Eleven. Like he, he is close that gap down, all the way from uh, you know he was down all the way down in eleventh, and he's come all the way back up. But it has allowed Judzikev, as Absolute Eleven was battling through traffic, to get a seven second gap over his teammate. Can Absolute Eleven close it down? But brilliant performance at the moment from him as he had that unfortunate, um, unfortunate circumstance there in the pits where he got held up behind his teammate. But now he's got a little bit of catching up to do. But uh, he's done really well there to get back up into second place. As oh, there's a battle happening at the back between Wichter 90 and Hampton. But Wichter in the I'm end, uh, Alba, so getting past. I'll back his round. Oh, I'll he is. Has lost it on the exit of turn. 14, I think that is. Uh, RCA was going a little bit slowly after he had a little bit of oversteer, and then I think our baggy press just lost a little bit of concentration. Oh, Sabo the Mister! Career. He's going to try and look for the move down the in right, down the inside of this corner. Gets the move done on Alex going to Mac. Oh, it's Vinches into the pits here, Natty. Uh, Vinches on eight lap medium tie, so maybe he's struggling a little bit on those mediums. Uh, it doesn't appear to have any wing chains, and he's going oh, on. He's Alex a, gonna, uh, Alex, sorry, Alex gonna Max got the move down the inside, but in the end, Sabo will get the move back because he does have that inside line into turn three. But uh, good battling between these two, keeping it nice and clean. Let's see if they're able to see if Alex gonna Max is able to get past Sabo. At the moment, he's not close enough yet. He will have that DRS down the main straight. This is our closest battle on track at the moment between all of the drivers. It's Alex going to back, trying to see if he can get the move past Sabo the Mister in the Ferrari. As uh, both of these two battling for the high end of the points. Maybe even trying to get onto the podium. If they can catch up to uh, Tonios. And uh, Triple O here, coming into the background a little bit of this battle. Gaining on his teammate and Alex Gunnar Mack having this battle with Sabo is just allowed Triple O here, Natty, to, uh, to to gain a few tenths and actually gain up on this battle between these two. Yeah, definitely. The dirty air can uh, really affect drivers, especially in the second sector. Oh, uh, someone, sorry, someone's spying. Through. I think it was Robert Codfather lost the car in the Haas. Uh, on those eight lap old medians, I think he just lost it there. As Bates is really close behind Robert Codfather now after that mistake, but Wick tonight he's really close behind uh, Bates. Bates might look for the move here. No, I don't think he's close enough yet to get the move done on Robert Codfather. So he'll just stick behind at the moment. So will Wick to 90? No, he might look trying to look for the move down the inside. A little bit of contact, couldn't get the pass done there. This is for points position. This is for the final point in the top 10. As he's going to try and look for the move now. As he might try it down the inside into turn one. Oh, he does. Very late there to look for the move. As he's going to go down the inside. Uh, Wick tonight. He might just follow through. He does. 
It's quite good that actually to follow through from another driver who's just made an overtake. As, oh, oh, he almost forced his Wick to 90 onto the grass as he got onto the grass on the edge of the curb. Almost lost the car. And in the end, Wick to 90 stays behind Robert Codfather as uh, Wick to is still trying to get past the Haas here. And uh, let's see if he can get past as he's just two tenths behind him. He's so close as he might try it round the outside here. He's going to go round the outside and he gets the move. Doing a brilliant move there, Natty, on Robert Codfather. Yeah, really good move from Wick to round the outside. It just seemed to uh, was able to find the grip where Robert Codfather couldn't and was able to put it off round the outside. A lot of these drivers actually do have a lot of BR rest of play and I thought there was a Williams round. There is oh, a Williams it is. round. It's, it's Bates. It's Bates after he just made that overtake. And he's just spun there, and uh, he's dropped all the way down now to 15 planes, and he lost that final points position, and now it's gone to Wigdon 90, just moved up into the top 10. And uh, that's how unfortunate for Bates there. But, uh, it seems to have just calmed down a little bit here, Natty, in terms of battles. Oh, Robert Codfather's gone really wide, as uh, it looked like he went for a late lunge there on Wigdon 90. And uh, we've got Car into the pits, it's in for Mello on those nine lap softs. I believe he actually pitted for the soft tyres during the safety car, so he might go on to a set of hard tyres, potentially the mediums. The mediums, I think, could get to the end of the race. And so he goes into the white striped hard tyres here, so here he will be He will be going to the end of the race on those hards. We'll have to see whether he is able to. Uh, James White Bates really close up behind Hampton now as Bates had that spin before. Oh, he's going to actually go down the inside of Hampton. Gets the move done as Hampton went quite wide there. So Bates getting the move done. He's on a little bit of a catch-up game now. But if we move up to 7th and 8th here, that RC8 has gained on the back of his teammate Ace the Sabo and is now looking to move up into 7th place. If he can keep with nice him. Oh, really deep into the corner. Into the gravel and that's Did he hit the cost wall? him. He narrowly yeah. avoided the wall, but uh, it's not going to do his tyres or brakes any good. Uh, but speaking of two teammates closing in on each other, Absolute Eleven's closing the gap down to Jutzikev up in front. It was 6.8, now 5.5. Uh, set the fastest lap of the race a few laps ago, and uh, that gap is coming down. That gap, yeah, the gap between those two is coming down as Fincher just managed to get past Robert Codfather. It's no Robert Codfather actually gets. I mean, she get past, back past Vincher. I think someone spam around. I think it's our bagu breath just... spinning again. As Vincher is going to look for the move. Late lunge down the inside. Will he be able to hook the car up in the end? And he does actually get the move done there on Robert Codfather for that final points position at the moment. As RC8 gaining now on Triple O in front. As he got a quite an easy uh, move there on his teammate. As his teammate ran very, very wide uh, just before when RC8 was gaining on him. And he's now trying to close that gap down to Triple O. And as you are saying that, that gap between Absolute Eleven and Jutsi Kev is really coming down. Now it's 4.8 seconds between the two Red Bull drivers. And we could see a battle on our hands here between two teammates for the top spot here in this race. Yeah, potentially. It appears to be that uh, Absolute might have nurtured his tyres a little bit uh, better than Jutsi. Uh, Jitsi might have been pushing while he uh, after he, uh, he got into the lead of the race. Absolutely though, had to do some overtaking to get himself up to P2, uh, so it's impressive from him to still be able to find pace in those mediums. They've only done nine laps on those tyres, so uh, whether Jitsi might pull the gun, uh, pull the trigger early and pit for hard, does that RC8 get ahead of Triple O? I think Triple O made a mistake uh, through the long swooping right hander of turn 13. Oh, absolute 11, the fastest lap again on 10 lap old mediums. He is really flying at the moment. He's, he's trying to gain here on Jutsi Kev, his teammate. And uh, absolute 11 will want that second win in the championship if he can. I don't think Jutsi uh, Kev will let him go without a fight, though. And he has just uh, triple O pits, but Brucey got so close to the back of Robert Codfather through the long right uh, hand of the uh, corner of turn 13 that he almost uh, lost the rear and almost hit into the uh, the back of the Haas driver. Uh, but he'll be looking to get a good run through the final corner and uh, we'll have the DRS. Oh, uh, Robert Codfather runs quite uh, wide through the final corner. He's got the DRS and overtake button enabled. He looks at the outside, uh, at the outside line and swoops past the Haas even before the corner. Yeah, good move there from Bruzy getting it done. 
before the corner there and uh, the moment that is the closest part we've gone on track here Natty is it seems to have just calmed down a little bit but I can imagine it's going to get a little bit better when these guys on those mediums uh, might ha might come into the pits again uh, either for another set of mediums Ooh. or if they can get them long enough maybe even a set of softs yeah, I was riding on board with a few of the medium runners, and I just saw the yeah, the pit window indicator uh, appear. Uh, one of them was Daz's pit window open for the set of medium tyres. So uh, maybe we might see a few of the medium runners but pit. The, They've front, done... the front runners haven't come in at the moment. Jutsi Kev and Absolute Eleven both stay out. Let's see if Tonio stays out, or whether he comes into the pits. No, he also stays out. Then maybe we're only a few laps away from some pit stops. Maybe Absolute uh, might come in a bit early, try and get the undercuts and close down the gap to Jutsi Kev that way. Obviously, his tyres will be a little bit more worn towards the end of the race. Uh, but there seems to be a little bit of a battle between Triple O and Hampton. Triple O in the DRS range hasn't uh, enabled overtake just yet. About seven tenths separate uh, those two guys. Triple O pitted for a fresh set of hard tyres. <clears throat> and uh, he'll be looking to get past the McLaren on 10 lap old hards. Let's see if Triple O can get past Hampton. As uh, yeah, as he said, Triple O on those fresh set of hard tyres. He's really gaining now on Hampton. He's going to have the DRS. Won't be able to try it into turn one. Sometimes you can go quite late into turn one as the other driver goes quite wide. Not able to get the move done there. Can imagine it'll probably be once they get to that long straight is triple O's actually really close behind Hampton now he might try it down the inside here into turn six will he look for the move no he can't get it done there can I imagine now the only place where triple O will be, will be thinking about overtaking Hampton is along that main straight with the DRS he's going to try and get as close as he can here through the sweeping S's in the middle of sector two Let's see if we can get the pass done. This is our closest battle on track at the moment between these two for 13th and 14th. Uzu Triple O running a little bit wide there over the curb. Might have lost him a little bit of time. It looked like it did. Well, Still managing to keep it wide. Oh, he has. And that's just allowed that Bates, well. actually. That's allowed Bates to go down the inside of the long right-hander. He's enabled to overtake. Oh, it's a bit of contact. A little bit of contact. But it's going to be a drag race down to the line. Neither of them, interestingly, have the DRS. Oh, it's a pure drag race. Robert Cudfather looks like he's running a little bit less wings than Bates and is able to keep 12th, but he runs really deep into into turn 14. That's going to allow Bates to uh, kindly go down the inside and move his way up into 11th place. Yeah, just why Bates getting up into 11th. And uh, oh, uh, someone's Robert just Cod come in. Pits. Yeah, Robert Cudfather into the pits. Looks like, looks like he was struggling a little bit there on those mediums. As uh, Hampton on the hard, so he could have gone a little bit longer. Maybe he thought he was struggling as well. So he comes into the pits. Look, just, just take a look back up top here now. Absolute 11, 3.7 seconds now behind his teammate. He has really closed that gap down to Chutsi Kev. Definitely, yeah. I mean, it was, uh, what was it, 6.8 or something? Uh, it was few around about ago. 7 seconds, I think it was, when and, he. Uh, when... It's now 3.3, .3, so he's killing the time. But what he doesn't want to do is kill his tyres, because if they uh, decide they want to fantasy pits... Oh, he does. So He's got 11. Undercut. Start triggering the undercut here. I'm sure he'll pit for a set of medium tyres and do the remaining 12 laps on a set of mediums. But this will be interesting to see where, whether Jutsi Kev uh, responds to his teammate and will pit on the next lap. To Tonio's also Tonio's responding to Absolute 11, comes into the pit. He's also, I believe, will go on to a fresh set of mediums. Uh, looking like absolute, yeah, absolute 11 on into the pits. He's gone for a fresh set of medium, so he will go to the end of the race on those. As he said, also Alex Gunnamack and Tonio's pitting as well. Alex Gunnamack has done 15 laps on those hards. He's now gonna he's gonna serve the penalty in the pits. Week to 90 also into the pits here. As uh, he is going to come in, it looks like for also another set of mediums to take those to the end of the race. Absolute 11, he's got to push now. He doesn't want to get caught behind Sabo. He really wants to push. And if he can get the move done on Sabo easily, then he'll be a good chance of possibly completing that undercut on Jutsi Kev. But the gap, the gap's around... Span. 
Oh yeah, he has it. Pamela at the back there in the Ferrari. He has span, but uh, just to give that gap's around about 25 seconds. Less than that now. So, I have to see where Jutsi Kev will come out in relation to Absolute Eleven. Will Jutsi Kev come in? He does. So, Jutsi Kev in. So, Absolute Eleven was Absolute going for the undercut. Overtake oh, yeah. DRS and in front of Savo even before the corner. So, uh, now just... Absolute's got some clean air to push while Jutsi's in the pits. Yeah, I'll have to see where Jutsi comes out. Quick pit stop there. Oh, he's waiting. What's he waiting for? That was... Oh, no. It's just like... <laughs> so, there was a wait there. Let's see where Absolute 11 it's comes out. Closer. Will the gap have closed between two of them? Let's have a look. It's Absolute 11 now. Oh, he has. Absolute... The undercuts worked almost, Natty, as it's actually gained Absolute 11 uh, around about one and a half seconds closer to his teammate Jutsukev here. Yeah, the undercut, quite powerful around this track. Obviously, China is a high tyre wear circuit, so the, uh, the quicker you can get off a set, uh, worn set of tyres and put on a fresh set of boots uh, will definitely help you in this race, as I believe there's eight Sabo Antonio's going almost side by side into turn three. And so Sabo is able to keep his fifth position for now, but Antonio's is on the fresh set of mediums and we will be looking to get past the Alfa Romeo as soon as he can. Yeah, J J uh, Tony O'C here really pushing now on these mediums. Lost out a little bit in that pit stop as the guys ahead of him are on a, a completely different strategy. It looks like RCA will be going to the end of the race on those hards, so he's got to find his way past RCA as well. Oh, it's Ace Sabo runs really wide, and that's just allowed Tony O's to go through nice and easily, get into some clean air, get some heat into those tyres, and catch up now to RCA, who's on the hards at the moment. It's a bit of a battle happening at the back between GSY, uh, I think it was between GSY Bits and Robert Codfather. Not sure what happened there. Is Al Bagu Breath really close behind Daza now? Might try and get the move done into this corner. Can't get it done there. As, uh, As Absolute Al hits for wing damage. Absolute's got wing damage. I didn't see what happened Ooh, when to him did he there. get wing he damage? Got, I don't know if he got caught up behind back markers. I was just about I'm to sure comment on the gap any... between Jutsi and Absolute has dropped to three. Well, was what was three seconds? Then he pits on uh, for a set of hard tyres for the remaining ten wow, laps. This, uh, there was no back markers between him and Jutsi Kev. So uh, Tonio's gets ahead. I'll just quickly check the race direction. He, he to must see have... if there was. Yeah, check if there was a collision, but it must have been a, uh, it must have been a driver error from him. That must have been why he, he's come onto the set of hearts. Why hasn't he got? Oh, maybe he doesn't have any mediums left. No, he's, yeah, had, he's, he's been forced really, onto hards. It's a Williams office. He, 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 he might have... Oh, we got safety a full, car. Sa full safety Sta car. Wow, it's just why Bates and Absolute Eleven, I believe, span at turn 13. Both How Williams unfortunate though for Absolute Eleven. He just pit for a set of medi a set of hards. It's gone from bad to worse for Absolute Eleven. He just pit for a set of hard tyres. But it will it will be Excellent. beneficial in a way for him. He might actually not, he, he might come in for a set of softs here, maybe. Potentially, I was just about to say, uh, we've got a few drivers pitting in for the mediums. This is definitely going to change things with a later safety car. The soft tyres could potentially make it to the end. Obviously, there's about three laps under the safety car conditions where the drivers will be driving at a slower pace. So they could pit for the soft tyres and do seven, uh, seven laps in racing conditions. Like they say, the Williams team. Set oh, Jutsi Kev, Jutsi Kev comes in. Up. Absolute Eleven might react as Jutsi Kev comes in. Or will Absolute Eleven stay out on the hards and try and just defend as much as he can? As Jutsi Kev so far ahead now, because Absolute Eleven has to abide by the Delta time until he reaches round to the back, until the first place reaches to the back of the safety car. Yeah, definitely. He's restricted to a forty percent Delta. On his uh, on his lap time, so he's going to be driving slower than, well, at the same pace as all the guys in front. But they're all in the pits as Jutsu Kev has pitted and has come out in the lead on the soft tyres. I can, tires, I, totally I, can ima I can imagine now absolute eleven. He might come in. He does. He does come in for a set of softs. So he's doing what everyone else is doing in front of him, coming in for the pits, coming in onto the fresh set of soft tyres, taking them to the end of this race. And uh, it's just going to become a sprint race now here in at the end. As Alex Gunnar Mack actually stays out. On the one lap old mediums. 
And uh, we'll go ahead of all of these drivers. I believe there's a Alpha Tauri of uh, Wicks has also stayed out in two lap hard, so both the drivers going for a track position here. And uh, oh, oh his teammate, his, his teammate as well, Tonios, also staying out on two lap mediums. And uh, it's behind Jutsi Kev at the moment, might just try and defend as best he can for that track position. Keep it the, that second place, but he's got Sabah the Mister. And he's also got RC8 right behind him. There's also the uh, the lapped car there of Willy Sanka. As uh, all the cars now are going to catch up to the back of the safety car. As uh, there's a, I believe there's also a lapped car of Ellison is going to be in the middle of the pack here, Natty, which also may shake a few things up off the, off the start here, off the back of the safety car. Yeah, definitely. And, um,. Obviously, with the, it's not ideal to have lap cards in, in the safety car. There's not much uh, you can really do about it, but it's definitely going to affect the likes of RC8. Uh, so, sorry, not RC8. Sabah the Mister, who's got Willy Sanka's AI uh, in front of him. He's not going to be able to get a closer gap to Tonio's, but he will, I'm sure they'll be moving up the way. The same with Ellison, who's in between RC8 and Ace de Sabo. Uh, but, but this is going to uh, give us a nice, close into this race just like we had at Bahrain and a late safety car to uh, spice things up and um, can't wait to see the restart as some of the drivers now are approaching the back of the safety car yeah it looks like quite a few of the drivers are now come round to the back absolute 11 just about to join the back of the safety car grid followed by Bruzy and then it'll be Triple O then Robert Codfather then the rest of the field here apart from Willy Sanka who's got a lapped car up there in the middle of the pack and also Ellison as well who's in the middle of that pack of cars up front Natty and uh, I can imagine he might just let everyone go past him right off of the start here as uh, he will have to abide by blue flags straight away yeah the more cars he lets go uh, lets through before turn one I'm sure the better it'll be for himself obviously he doesn't want to get in the way and upset anyone and uh, a little bit of stop and go in the midfield uh, around Absolute and Vinci's area. Our oh, baggy breaths left the session. Might and, possibly uh, need an invite back. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. As uh, at the moment it is Jutsi Kev leading. He's on the fresh set of softs. His teammate down in ninth who qualified in second. He has got a bit of making up to do if he wants to get on the podium. He's going to probably have about eight laps to do it. I think, no, sorry, seven laps to do it. As uh, it looks like the safety car might come in this lap. There's only a few more drivers towards the back of the pack that need to come round and join the back of the pack. But it looks like the safety car will come in this lap. Let's have a look here. Is it popped up yet on the screen? It's usually just after sector three. I think it might be one more lap with the likes of our baggy breath, Dazza and Hampton. I haven't have a look. It could be yet. it could be a late call from the safety car. Sometimes it is. Actually, if the lights if the lights see. go out, we know it's coming in. It looks like it's staying out for now. As uh, yeah, at the moment it does look like it might be out for one more lap. As these drivers at the back haven't caught the safety car queue yet, so I think it will stay out for one more lap. And, uh, yeah, we'll have to sit behind the safety car for now until that green flag racing. And I'm sure Jutsi Kev will want, be wanting to get away as soon as possible from the back of the safety car. So it stays out for one more lap. And I uh, suppose it's time for another plug while we're waiting. <laughs> so if you haven't already, go subscribe to the Gavin Racing YouTube channel. The last time I checked, we were on 992 subs. I'll just go and check that now, actually, for you. As, uh, let's have a look here. So, and if you haven't already as well, uh, pop a Twitch Prime sub over on our Twitch channel. And uh, you can also follow the Twitch channel as well. And uh, yeah, we, have, uh, we also have social media, which I run, Twitter and Instagram. And uh, all the information for all our leagues is either in the Discord, where you can meet all the drivers. And uh, yeah, there's a, lot, there's a bunch of chats in there for all the different leagues and uh, all the information and registration signups calendars and standings all on the website here as well and you also get to see the dr individual driver stats as well which i think is very very nice and uh, 
Gavard does keep a record of all of the podiums and fastest laps and uh, all of the lap records as well from all each individual driver. But yes, we still are on 992 subs. We were trying to get to 1,000 before the end of this year. It looks very, very likely now. But if we can get to 1,000 before the end of this week, th that would be really, really great. So if you haven't already, go over and subscribe to the Gavarys YouTube channel. And uh, now you can imagine the safety car surely has to come in at the end of this lap here. Yes, it does. Yeah, there's the, there's the message from race control. The safety car is in this lap. It will be a six or seven lap sprint to the end. Some drivers are actually getting quite close to each other up in front. They need to be careful not to uh, con uh, make contact with one another. Having a look at it, though, uh, Tutsi has actually made three stops in this race and is able to uh, keep himself on first place. A great pace from the Red Bull drivers. A little bit of overtaking towards the back as some of these guys are going really slowly. There's Informella and Bates almost coming together as a Bates actually gets a five second penalty for uh, colliding with Infamena. Another five second penalty for him. I think there's quite a lot of people who find five second penalties. They have served them though. They are allowed to serve five second penalties in the pits. They aren't allowed to serve the three second penalties that they get for corner cutting in the pits though. So the drivers, when they have pit, would have served their penalties from before that they would have got earlier in the race, the earlier safety car, but now Jutsikev becomes a de facto safety car. He controls the speed of the rest oh of the pack. Oh dear, we've had a bit of an incident in the back. Has there been a big incident? Robert Codfather, I believe the racing point and the Ferrari and the Williams of Bates, I think have all come together. Oh, there's, there's, damage, to the, there's damage to Hampton, and he's gonna Jutsi's have to come into gone. the pit straight away. Oh, there's damage already. It looks like someone's Brake checked someone, that really isn't great. Uh, oh, and Infamella's oh, taken out Tunturi. Infamella's out. Huge crash, and Tunturi's got no wing. That's not great from That's the Ferrari really driver. That's not I'll great at all. Uh, as we say, penalties. But away from that, RC8 and Sabo the Mister actually having to go into turn five. And so, oh, RC8 got the, the RC8 did get the move done on Sabo after 11, already up into seventh. After that start from ninth up into seventh already, he is really going to be pushing. But uh, I was just about to say the stewards will look at all the incidents here in this race, and uh, that was not great from those drivers there from Infamella, or uh, I believe someone brake checked someone, and then there was big contact under the safety car. It's not great from the drivers, but absolute Bates 11 at the Hampton. moment. What do we can say uh, about Bates and Hampton? Say Bates, uh, Bates and Hampton go wheel to wheel just before uh, the long right-hander. Oh, absolute 11 is going to be looking for a move now, though. That he's got, he's behind. Alex going to mark. Hasn't got that DRS though. Look, that dirty air really affecting these drivers. It's really, really bad on this game. And in the end, can't get past at the moment. Oh no, he goes down the inside actually. It's he's oh almost a little bit of contact. He now got stuck behind the lapped car of Willy Sanka. Gets past though. Alex gonna mark out a really bad exit into the final corner and it's just gonna allow absolute 11 to get past now as he's gonna try and go around the outside. Oh big contact and Alex gonna mark spun round oh and he's Colliding into both of the carries and he's another out with another safety, safety car. car. Wow. Wow. He collided. Oh he hit into both. It looked like he hit into both Alpha Tauris. Yeah, one Alpha Tauris got damaged. It's the other one got. Yeah, no. Who was the other driver there? Someone else picked up damage. Was it Ace to Sabo? Was someone that picked up, I think it, maybe it was just the one Alpha Tauri then, picked up the damage because of Alex Gunnamax spinning round, colliding with Absolute 11. The Centurion picks himself up a drive through penalty, but uh, having a look in the chat, we're having some uh, Eugenia flashbacks. Uh, some big bro moments in the chat have happened. So, and as it is, it is basically a Mugello all over again here. So, uh, p some drivers picking up some penalties, and uh, this, hopefully they can be is, a little bit... I've got to just yeah. about to say, this is very, very good, though, for the drivers on the soft tyres, as uh, it's really just going to keep that tyre life to a minimum, and uh, will allow them to be very, very quick here at the end of the race. 
Yeah, definitely. I've completely forgot what I was going to say, but I'm sure it will come to me. <laughs> as uh, Alex got a max left the session. Uh, I wouldn't imagine anyone to pit. Most of these guys are on relatively fresh softs, and they're going to have a few more laps under the safety car. Love Piero's comment there. Piero said, let's go red flag standing start. I'd be up for that, personally. Would be up for a yellow only, flag standing start. Only Codemasters could uh, add the, uh, the red flag. Uh, Codemasters, the add, add, add red flags and fix your game, please. And it uh, comes into the pits to repair the damage from the turn one collision, and uh, hopefully we have a clean safety car restart than before. Hopefully we do this time. It all, str it all stranded though, Natty, from people slowing down and speeding up under the safety car restart. People just need to keep a consistent speed and keep a, keep a big gap to the cars in front. Guys, come on, we already know the two meter rule in real life. Let's see if we can keep that in AF1 cars. Try and keep your distance under the safety car to the car in front. Don't try and go for overtakes. We know how eager you get to try and overtake under the safety car. But let's keep that that two meter rule. Keep social distance to the cars in front and behind. And uh, that will uh, keep it clean under the safety car. I believe what happened last time was... Uh... I think Jutsi Kev was just about to go. I'm not uh, putting any blame on Jutsi Kev, but the midfield uh, were all queuing up behind everyone, and then people started, uh, you know, heavily braking to avoid the car in front, which just uh, triggered a, tra a chain reaction towards the back, kind of similar to what happened Sounds in like the uh, real life weekend. Uh, so if we, but if these guys, it, it's not, it's not different. actually, it, it's not actually anything to do with. I mean, it's not actually Jutsi Kev's fault at all. Because Jutsi Kev becomes the de facto safety car. The safety car speeds off. Jutsi Kev controls the pace. He is allowed to go whatever pace he can until the start line. So he can slow all the way up until the start until the start finish line, and then he can speed up from then, as we saw in Mugello. That's what Valtteri Bottas did. So Jutsi Kev not in the wrong. Everyone just needs to wait until that de facto safety car, whoever is at the front. Then eventually speeds up to the racing speed, and uh, yeah, it looks like it was just a big repeat of Mugello there. Yeah, so uh, lap 24, uh, sorry, 25 out of 28 now. So the safety car uh, will be in this lap, I believe, no matter uh, whether drivers have caught up to the back or not. We will have three laps to go in this race, a three lap sprint to the end. And uh, the guys on the soft tyres will be looking to try and gain as many positions as they can towards the end of this race. This really has helped those guys out on the soft tyres. Really looking really, really good for Absolute 11 as he's now managed to, to close all of the gaps to the drivers in front. And we've seen the speed that he has. He's got Ace to Sable in front of him on five lap old mediums. And then he's got two drivers on the same tyre life and the same tyres as him to get up into the podium potentially even try and get back up into second he would he would, he would be a contender for the driver of the day now if he was able to do that after the race that absolute 11's had so far definitely in the top three i'm just checking now the top three have no penalties between them sabo the mistos picked up one and uh, at least the sabo has one himself but uh so the top three really keeping it clean within the track limits that uh definitely helped them uh, win or have a good chance of winning this race with only three laps to go then people with the three six second time penalties aren't going to have enough laps to pull out a big enough gap to serve those uh, sorry to you know, reduce those penalties as much as they can and uh, the safety car staying up for one more lap I think is it because the is it because Tunchuri hasn't come to the back of the pack yet might be it might be the a... reason only a two lap sprint then to the end so that's gonna uh, that, that will affect more that will affect absolute 11 massively in terms of a... trying to get to the end safety car out for one more lap really code masters i hope we oh. don't finish under the safety car jutsi's pulling up almost along uh alongside the safety cars almost saying like you know he wants it in he wants to go racing yeah. Jutsi Kev wants, he wants to be gone, look at him, he's eager, he's eager to get away. From experience, that safety car is pretty indestructible, mate, so I wouldn't try, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't try hitting it yeah, at all. Yeah, don't, don't I, do I it that. I the hard way. 
Yeah, try not to do a natty and actually collide with the safety car. If you haven't seen I that, guess. go watch Belgium last season in the Freshman League. Or, if you want to, go and watch the top 10 moments of the week. Can't remember which episode it was. But uh, there's also a little uh, spicy meme there as well for you guys. If you Alongside that, Natty colliding with the safety car. It was a funny That's one. A... Jets is actually overtaking the safety car, so he really wants to get this race. It's like back uh, on Silverstone, the way. if you remember in real life, everyone was talking about the safety car going too slow. Jutsi can fear trying to overtake the safety car, telling him, Come on, speed up. We want to get back nervous, on the race in here. A bit nervous for his front wing here. If, if he touches that car, <laughs> he got oh, he's getting, there. He's getting very left. close <laughs> there. Oh, that, that would be the worst feeling ever to crash behind the safety car with two laps to go because you want to get this race back underway but it looks to be that uh, oh, the race point has for an overtake again it's going to try and go down the, the inside of the safety car will he be able to get the move done here Judsi Kev oh, you can't get it done there through the S's oh, safety car should be in this lap I believe we'll get the message in a few seconds Usually it's Please. just after the, the safety car goes. The, the, there there we is. go. We will get back under green flag racing. Let's see if Judsi Kevin might go for the move on the safety car here down the straight. Doesn't look like he's going to go. Oh, now there's a big pile up at the back here. Looks like ooh, it looks like there's an AI of Albagu Breath and there's an AI of Willy Sanka holding a few of the cars up here at the back. Someone's yeah, going really slow. Hampton needs Hampton. to speed. Hampton he's, he's needs. He's got a five-second penalty. He's ignoring the other flag. flag. He needs to speed it's... up here. Hampton, what is he doing? He's. What was he? This what was be... Hampton doing there? This might not go well for the drivers behind him because he's going full throttle. Wick, uh, Wick has got a no, penalty he needs for five to, seconds. He, Hampton, Hampton can't be doing that. He needs to keep up with the rest of the he pack. On the brakes, yeah, the he can't, him Hampton hands. can't be that. The penalty might have to be awarded his way. Hampton cannot Ooh. be doing that under the safety car. Contact between Bruzy, but Jutsi Kev's approaching the final corner now, weaving up his tyres. Oh, he's doing he's doing a Valtteri. He's going as slow as he can to the line, and then he's going to get a release right on the corner. No, he's still going to he go slowly. Just keeping my eye on the back of the field. Oh, there's contact. It's Mugello all over again, but we managed to get underway. As this, I as look, just look towards the back. There's almost... Drivers and going wheel to wheel. Between Bates and Robert Cutfather, uh, Abagu Breath oh, is the house round. It's Woody uh, Sankra Robert and Cutfather Robert Cutfather both losing positions. What has happened here is Absu Eleven's lost it on the grass, and how unfortunate for him is he was looking for some good places here. Pe do people need to be taught driving etiquette under the safety car again? Because we will mention it on the podcast. It's Absu Eleven getting the move done here on Triple O. Oh, there's contact into that corner. As they're looking down the inside as well, and there's a uh, Robert Codfather picking up a penalty for kind of cutting cut corners. I think there's contact between him and his disconnected teammate. Dazza and uh, sorry, oh, Triple O going really wide. Triple o I think he's really got damage. Wide. I think he does. Yeah, it looks like he's got damage with Bates getting past Hampton. But it looks like these drivers need a lesson on safety car etiquette. Don't worry, we will bring that to you in the podcast. Looking as, down the inside as Triple O's got a 10 second penalty. Oh, Ellison oh, picking up a three second nice. time penalty as well. Sabo actually looking like he might get on the podium here. It's and RCA. Hampton's gone wide, and that's going to allow Dazza and oh, Wichita to go through. It is, yeah. This is, the, this is the battle for the final a bit in the points here. It's Hampton did run really wide. Look at Sabo. He might potentially get the uh, the final position on the podium here. As uh, RCA now, he actually got the jump on Tonios for second place here. It's looking really good for Tonios as Bruzy close up behind Vincher. And uh, we are now on the final lap of this race as we've had three full safety cars and we've had one virtual safety car. What an odd race this has been. As Bruzy all over the back of Vincher going to be looking for the move here. He's going to try it maybe into turn three. Isn't close enough yet. We'll wait for that long straight. These drivers won't have DRS. I'm sure the McLaren driver of Bruzy has engaged scenario seven here uh, for some last lap drama in the McLaren. He's almost getting quite close as Absolute uh, goes round the outside of Bates. Oh, uh, Bates. Bates! So he's able to hold it down the inside. Absolute's going to get good traction on those soft tyres and uh, move up into eighth place. 
Yeah, Absolute Eleven uh, going round the outside. Bates looking for the cutback. Couldn't get it done, though, as he said. Absolute Eleven, good uh, traction. On the edge, there's Wick to 90 getting the move done on Dazza. Up for the final points. Chipolo's out. And Dazza's had a half spin with contact with Wick. Oh, and Hamden also running wide as well. And a Tootsie has picked up a three second time penalty on the. Uh, oh, and this could be absolutely for the win. Has he got any. Has he got, has RCA got any penalties? This I'm going to really quickly check now. This could be RCA, RCA for the win. doesn't have any penalties. He's RCA two warnings away from a penalty. Here. RCA going to get the win potentially on the final few corners on penalties. Judzi Kev, after he, he's Judzi kept... Judzi Kev round the final Judzi corner. Judzi Kev keeping pole for almost the entirety of this race. will come across the line. But I see it's going to win in the end. And, Jud and Sabo gets on the podium in the end, Natty. And Tony Oz gets four. Bruzy gets fifth. Absolute 11 gets sixth. Fincher gets seventh. Ace of Sabo in eighth. Bates in ninth. Dazza gets the final points in tenth. But RCA somehow, out of all of this, wins the Grand Prix. And Chutzi Kev will be furious with what's happened in this Grand Prix because he would have won this race if there wasn't for the three safety cars that came out. And in the end, Tony, uh, RCA winning the race. How on earth has he done that? Chutzi Kev just got a bit too aggressive through turn 13. The fast ran uh, right-hander, got tons of oversteer. Uh, ran wide onto the Astro turf and then, uh, sorry, uh, what did he do? He got a tire penalty. That's what he did. got uh, his third Ooh, and final warning. Jutsi, Jutsi Kev in the chat, he's really not happy about that as he picked up that Jutsi time worried. penalty. But uh, he does get second place in the end though, still on the podium. But it is RCA who wins on penalties. Still a really, really good drive from him. You can't take it away from him as he gets up into pole position and adds a little bit of a mix-up now into the championship as uh, we had a big mix-up in the championship last season it looks like there's going to be another big mix-up in the championship here but uh, not a great race overall Natty especially in terms of under the safety car but uh, I'm sure we can always speak about it on the podcast the pack uh, is well I'd say the back to the midfield under the safety car is probably the most dangerous and the uh, eager um, to get going under the safety car so as long as drivers I'm sure in the future will take it a little bit more careful uh, in future races then hopefully we should have some more cleaner races without penalties and damage under the safety car yeah we'll have to find out and see hopefully these drivers will keep it cleaner if there's another safety car in future races but uh, thank you everyone for joining us here for the freshman league race this week um, Obviously, I've just stepped in here for two Saint, but uh, hopefully he should be back next week with Natty if he doesn't leave him again. But uh, have to find out. But yeah, make sure you join us next week where we'll be for the first time in the Freshman League and the first time in all the leagues here in Gavra. We'll be in for the Dutch Grand Prix. New to the F1 game, we'll have to find out how the racing is around there. And uh, yeah, make sure you join us tomorrow where we're also back in China for the Premier Series. You'll be joined by me and Evan. Same time, same place, same track. And uh, we hope you can all join us here. But uh, I'd just like to reiterate once again, if you haven't already, go subscribe to Gavin Racing. We want that 1,000 so bad. And we've got a couple of special things lined up for you for the 1,000 mark. But uh, just teasing you every single day. But uh, once we get to 1,000, you'll find out exactly what all of that is when it is revealed thank you nanny for joining me i mean that i mean you probably just have to thank me for joining you thank you for joining me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah hopefully we'll two saint will be back for this one next week and uh yeah we'll get back to normal with this and uh, be joining me and evan tomorrow for the premiere series and uh yeah we will see everyone next week see you guys